feel like I'm gonna bow. I got you this. Good girl. Good job. So it's time for everybody to get a piece of the Sherwood urinary tab. So now I'm just thinking like, hey, if this does anything to stop stones, we're handing them out now. Just doing half for everyone. Pecan's getting a whole one twice a day to try to dissolve hers. So I've got to go over here. So Busby's the only one that like I'll have to work on getting him to take some if I want him to have any. Sorry, you only have two hands here. Oh shoot. That's not what you want, hun. That's the pill cutter. There you go. Go, sweetie. Sorry. I know I... You know, weirdo, I dropped it. Well, thanks for coming over here. There you go. There you go. And the other two pieces are going into the water to do for PKM later. And here is one of the Sherwood urinary tabs dissolved in water. So I put it in this container overnight or during the day to dissolve it. So she gets one in the morning and one at night. Because that is all we have to try to get rid of her stone. Alrighty little sweetie. Good girl. So it makes quite a few syringes, so I just dump whatever water I feel like in it. Because I figure the extra liquid's good for her too. And she does like the taste, I just kind of have to guide it for her to take all of this. I know you're a bit stubborn this morning. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, so that's all we do every morning and every night, along with all her other meds. Is there anything left, Hookie? I see a couple pieces. Oh, that was up very nice. Still working on that peppery, Buzz. You probably wish you had hands. You've got to get the skill of putting your paw on it to eat it, to keep it still. There you go. Good boy. You're so cute. Now everybody gets their hay to munch on. Just added pecan back in. So she's been doing just fine being left with the entire herd all through the night. She just gets checked on a bit more often. I just take her out while they have their veggies and then she gets her extra medicines and 
stuff like that in little snuggles while we wait. But the herd eats their veggies super fast. Look at it's the little king and queen eating together. How are you little turkeys? You're so cute. So I wanted to tell you guys that, um, do you remember the video I made about three weeks back where I was talking about how the sisters were being a little bit bickery again? And I was showing in the clip where Annabelle was rumbling her sister. So now that Annabelle's healed from her stone, that behavior has gone away. So when it was happening, I did think it was weird because she hadn't done it ever since they were spayed and put back together. So I found it very odd. But I couldn't pinpoint why and she was getting little nips on her bum and she had that nick on her neck where her sister bit her so obviously it was causing some you know tension and everything but I couldn't figure out why because nothing else was different but obviously it turns out that that was probably her defense of not feeling right um, putting up a front to her sister and probably partly because she was in pain so she was feeling crabby yeah, so we do not see that again, so they have settled right back to really calm like they were before, which is really nice. So now that gives me hope that they're going to be even better when Busby is introduced to them. Because before when they were having some arguments, I was thinking like, oh, maybe they're not the best pair to try them with if they're not that cheery with each other. Or I guess in a sense, maybe it could have settled things down, you never know, but... I'll be much happier to try them with Busby now that they have settled down again and seem very happy and calm with each other. Yeah, so I just thought I would let you guys know that, that really that was the only thing that I could say was different with Annabelle. When she had a stone, she didn't lose weight, she didn't cry when she was peeing. Yeah, there's nothing that was telling me that she had it until that really bad bloat episode, which is probably right when the stone had went into her urethra and got lodged and caused the bloat so I guess thank goodness that she got bloated so that I checked her all over hey you two you're so cute and of course there's Autumn laying down you're so cute little Angus it's like a little baby birdie in his nest If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!